the forehead of your robot. You should know that some of the minor characters in the amazing world of Gumbo were being scrapped or rejected out of existence in later episodes and or seasons. You would probably hear of a certain minor character named, Rachel Wilson, Tobias's sister. She had appeared in some episodes of season 1 like The Party, and made little references to her in some of the episodes in later seasons. In season 2's The Internet, Rachel is seen on one of the pop-up windows on a computer. In Season 5's The Matchmaker, Rachel is shown in a flashback of her kissing Darwin on the face, which is the clip from the Season 1 episode The Party, along with Terry saying her name. Our heads were flooding with questions and theories about the disappearance of Rachel. Whatever happened to her? Well, I think she's probably stuck in the void for all eternity, like what happened to Rob and Molly Collins, or that she has moved to another town to pursue her own life. Or to make it more dark, some believe that she had passed away not long after further episodes, not even Tobias's parents stating remorse on her daughter whose life has ended. Likewise, I did find out why Rachel was removed from the show as in later seasons, because what gives? One night on a boring weekend, I was on my old computer and went onto some obscure pirate streaming site, I won't name it for privacy reasons, where I can watch movies, shows or anime for free, Sadly, it was sometimes infested with inappropriate and misleading advertisements. Luckily, I had an ad blocker extension on my browser, since I don't want my browser history and computer to be messed up with any suspicious content and or viruses. As I tried to tell everyone else about this site, I swear that I heard some of the people would say, they were watching cartoons on a pirate website, and, why do people use those sites? To which I jokingly thought since I watched that season 6 episode of Gumball called, The Buddy. And yes, I'm a complete scumbag. I was just on that site looking for the amazing world of Gumball. I also randomly clicked on season 6, cause why not? In the episode section of season 6, I noticed that there's episode 0. This struck me odd, because some of the seasons of other shows never had episode 0s. This may sound like those crappy tropes of lost episode stories you've seen online that tried to make it sound scary and dark in most ways, except it doesn't, it's just annoying. The episode zero in question was later to be scrapped or banned since the writers got away with it. Also, how did it manage to get onto that site? Out of curiosity, I clicked on it. And boy, was it off-putting. As I began playing the episode, it started with the end of the intro, just showing the logo and the writers. After that, it cut to a title card, saying, The Rejected, in the usual pink pixelated font in front of the space-like background, until it shows the credits. Then it cuts to a school bus with students inside about to leave the scene for Elmore Junior High. As the bus leaves, Rachel Wilson, Tobias's sister, appeared on the sidewalk of the neighborhood, knowing that she was behind the bus in the scene all along. I was surprised that she had appeared in later seasons in that new 2D animation style. However, she had that suspicious smile on her face somehow and appeared to be glitching. She is not as corrupted as Rob, but her appearance was normal, except she was glitching a bit. Rachel said with her usual voice in a suspicious kind of tone. One day, I know what's coming. I've been in that stink hole for all eternity, but I managed to escape as fast as I can. She laughs sinisterly and then ran towards where the bus left off. Then it cuts to the exterior of Elmore Junior High, with the sound of the school bell ringing. After that, it cuts to Gumbo and Darwin in the school hallway, talking about their day and such. It seems like a pretty typical episode of Gumball anyway. Then, their conversation was cut off by a loud bang coming from one of the entrance doors. It was no other than Rachel, the one who appeared in the first scene of the episode, still glitching out a bit. The students in the hallway gasped in surprise as they saw her in return. One of the students, Tobias, walked up to his sister and asked her why she hasn't returned to Elmore since. Rachel then answered her brother, saying, well Tobias, it hasn't been a while in Elmore. I've been in that static mess forever, and I managed to escape. Just for revenge. What? Why? Tobias replied in shock. Why? I know why. 
It was because nobody ever liked me anymore, like you, and mom and dad. Rachel answered insanely. I was then later rejected from existence, all because of you and anybody else. And I wouldn't have the opportunity to stay in Elmore with you and people around anymore. And... Tobias said in a way to annoy his sister. Rachel groans in annoyance and replies. That's it. That's all I have to say. End of story. And... Tobias annoyingly said again. Rachel groans again, but loudly in annoyance, and runs away from her annoying brother. She headed to Bumble and Darwin, both looking confused, and she said this. Remember me losers. Bumble and Darwin screamed in surprise after she said that. Darwin then asked her in confusion. Wait, haven't I seen you since the party at Tobias's house? To which Rachel answered. Yes, I remembered kissing you at the party. It then cuts to a flashback, showcasing every clip that involved Rachel in the season 1 episode, The Party. And yes, there is a scene where she kissed Darwin in the face. After the flashback, Rachel then continued. Nonetheless, you broke my heart. What? How? Darwin asked confusedly. What has Darwin ever done to you? Gumball asked Rachel. She then answered, breaking. It's because you guys didn't like me anymore. I was forever forgotten and removed from the world to that stink hole for all eternity. Oh. The Void. Gumball said. We and Mr. Small had been in that place to save Molly Collins, which she had been missing in this world. Darwin said. Likewise, Rob managed to escape the Void, and we now made him our enemy. And you however escaped, and became the second enemy. Then, Tobias ran to the duo and yelled. Guys, stop talking to her. She's completely insane. Oh right. Gumball said. Run! Darwin screamed. As Dumball, Darwin and Tobias ran off screen from Rachel, she then screamed. Hey, you guys can't fully escape from me, you traitors! Out of nowhere, she pulled out a mallet and started running and smashing everything in the school hallway, screaming like crazy. Rachel laughed maniacally as she kept doing all of this, as some of the junior high students started panicking in great fear. Principal Brown appeared, walking from his office, knowing what was all the huge racket with a mad expression on his face, and shouted. What on planet Earth is going on here? Then, he noticed Rachel, still destroying everything with her mallet like crazy. Brown then said in confusion and concern. Rachel? Principal Frown. Rachel evilly mocked. Hey, it's Principal Brown to you. Brown retaliated. Rachel then ran towards Principal Brown with her mallet, until he runs away in the hallway screaming. He successfully found a fire alarm and sets it off, making that loud, generic stock alarm sound that utterly disturbed the panicked students and staff. They panicked even more until they have to leave the school. Unfortunately, they did. It then cut to Gumball, Darwin and Tobias, who were also escaping the school's disaster. Okay, I think we lost her. Gumball said. Darwin then spoke in a worried manner. I don't think so. Get back here, you little meddlers! Rachel screamed from afar. The trio turned around and see that Rachel was chasing them with the mallet. She's still getting on us! Tobias shouted. This went on for 30 seconds, with Rachel chasing the three boys screaming. They also did a few mishaps, like where the characters ran over other characters and various obstacles. After all that, Tobias then ran back to his house and so does the Watterson boys to their own house. Tobias rang the doorbell in fear until his parents, Harold and Jackie Wilson, opened the door in complete confusion. Tobias? Jackie asked confusedly. What are you doing here out of school? Harold asked, also confused. It's my sister. Tobias answered scared. We haven't seen her for years and she came back for revenge. Rachel? Tobias's parents spoke in confusion. Yes! She's coming right now! Tobias screamed. Then, they heard and saw Rachel laughing loudly and maniacally from afar with her mallet, as she ran towards her family, I presume. Oh my gosh, it's our daughter. Jackie remarked. I know, we haven't seen her for a very long while. Harold spoke. 
Rachel then noticed her parents and said, Mom! Dad! Rachel, what happened to you? Jackie stuttered. You've neglected me! Rachel cried before snapping. I was lost in some stinkhole, like what everyone else called the void, for like ages. You didn't seem to care about me anymore. And you... will... regret this? As Rachel chased her family with her mallet, screaming in rage, until the episode cuts to the Watterson household. And then goes into the living room of the house with Gumball and Darwin on the couch, exhausted from all the running. Nicole, the boy's mother, came to the living room and asked her sons in confusion. Gumball, Darwin, what are you doing here out of school? There was an incident, Mrs. Mom. Gumball answered exhaustedly. It has something to do with our friend, Tobias Wilson's sister. Darwin spoke. She was crazy, and we don't know why her parents, and even her brother Tobias forget about her, when she was nowhere to be found for years. Then, an envelope was dropped from the door slot. Let me get it. Gumball remarked, as he and Darwin got off the couch. He then picks up the envelope, opens it, and the message was revealed to be some kind of ransom note. Gumball then reads the letter, and hears what it said. Dear, you two meddlers. I kidnapped my own family into a scrapyard in Elmore. Better luck you idiots can't have the audacity to save them, since they abandoned me and left me in nowhere, which is that stinkhole I've been in there forever. Both, Rachel. After Gumball read the letter, he screamed. Oh no, we have to save them. Darwin then asked out of curiosity. But what if we get captured by Rachel, like what she did her parents, including her brother Tobias? Whatever, let's go. Gumball ordered. Oh, I'll come too. Get in the car. Nicole said before her sons accept her command. After they left their house and got into their car before Nicole drives off, the episode fades to the junkyard at night. Rachel could be seen at the cliff, along with her family being tied up and had tape over their mouths, making muffled screams. And what was behind her family was the incinerator, which was seen from the season 1 episode, The Helmet. Yeah yeah, scream all you want, since no one can hear you from afar. Rachel mocked. This will be the last thing you'll ever experience, since you didn't recognize me anymore. I'm sorry you guys, things have to be the way they have to be. She then walked up to her brother Tobias as he said something in an inaudible muffled voice with subtitles saying. <laughs> Goodbye, Tobias. Rachel maniacally mocked, before she began to push her brother into the incinerator that was closing and opening constantly. Then, she heard the tire screeching sounds of the Watterson's car driving through as she pauses. Let go of your family young lady. Nicole screamed as she and her sons got out of the car. No, they left me behind. I was in that stink hole for gosh darn years. Rachel retaliated. You've been saying that excuse too many times. Gumball shouted. What was your deal, lady? Just because our relationship was a facade, since you were gone for years. Darwin remarked. Then, Tobias began shuffling, and somehow managed to untie himself and unties his parents. Oh no you don't. Rachel shouted as she pushed her brother into the incinerator. Tobias was screaming while he began to fall towards the closing and opening pit. Gumball goes into the control room and controls a large mechanical claw to seize Tobias. The mechanical claw then drops him onto an area where the Watterson's car was at. Oh, oh my goodness. Thanks a lot, buddy. Tobias calmly said, thanking Gumball for his triumph. No worries, my friend. Gumball observed. What? Rachel snapped. That's not possible. I'm still gonna kill you all. Nicole then ran to Rachel and yelled. Oh no you don't. And knocks her out into the incinerator. Rachel was falling into the pit, screaming. After she went inside the incinerator, she began to burn and glitch like crazy. Her flesh starts melting, making the scene more disturbing and uncomfortable, and her clothes and her hair were consumed by the fire, turning them into ashes. She was screaming like crazy while burning alive, as if she is legitimately burning in hell. 
although her scream sounded so horrible and gut-twisting, as if Rachel's voice actress, Jessica McDonald, was sounding like she's burning alive as well. After Rachel died, the Wilsons and the three Watersons callously cheered for her death. They were happy that she died. Yes, a forgotten minor character, who only appeared in Season 1 and rarely seen in Season 2 and 5, had died, no wonder why she had turned evil all of a sudden in Season 6. What the hell were the writers thinking? I hope that witch deserves her lesson. Nicole praised sadistically. Yeah, it's a good thing we should forget about her. She's just a complete nut job. Gumball spoke. I suggest that we should go home now. And so does the Wilsons. Darwin said. As the Wilsons and Watersons exited the junkyard, the episode ended, not even showing the credits. I have to say, this is a pretty interesting episode. Despite a forgotten Wilson character named Rachel returning in one of the later seasons of Gumball, being all crazy and crap like that. I knew she was in that void for too long, kind of like what happened to Rob. In this episode, she became like, the second antagonist. Although, Rob was the first and only antagonist in the show in later seasons. Now, you know why Rachel was nowhere to be seen in Elmore during the later seasons. A few days later, I have to check season 6 of Gumball on that site to see that episode 0 is still here. Unfortunately, it was gone and erased from the listing. I still have evidence of this lost episode, which were only screenshots of the title card and Rachel's season 6 appearance. I then messaged Ben Bocklet via Twitter about an episode I'd seen on the obscure streaming site, again, for privacy reasons, I wouldn't tell him the name of it. A moment later, he responded. Here's what the message said. Dear Name Withheld. That episode you saw called, The Rejected, was not to be seen by the public or aired on Cartoon Network. It was made before the season finale and for the return of a character that we forgot about named, Rachel Wilson, since she only appeared in some episodes of season 1. Sadly, the episode was later lost due to its morbid nature, like where it shows Rachel getting killed while burning in the fire in realistic detail, screaming horribly. The thing with her returning in season 6 was that she became the second villain in the show, since she came out of the void. Kind of like Rob, for example. Also, the reason why Rachel was never to be seen in Elmore during later seasons was that we have to reject her due to her cringeworthy attitude after season 1. She is not one of the most perfect minor characters out of the bunch to overly occur. And yeah, I did make a few mentions of her in some episodes in later seasons, like season 2's The Internet and season 5's The Matchmaker. We were so sorry that you've seen this episode on some sort of website. We have no idea how it got there. Best wishes, Ben Bocklet and everyone involved with The Rejected. Well, after that, it seems like I don't have to look at Rachel the same way again.